If you have newer or lower level English language learner students in your class who may be struggling to develop their English language skills, one tool you may wish to download is the Microsoft Translator app. This app is available for free on Windows 10 devices, Macs, iOS, and Android mobile devices as well. In this video tutorial, we will take a closer look at all of the features and functions of the Translator app specifically for Windows 10 devices. So I've gone ahead and downloaded and installed the Translator app on my Windows 10 laptop. To find the Translator app, I'll simply go to my Windows um, app launcher button, and I can either find Translator in my list of all my apps, or I can find Translator as a tile in my app menu. I just simply click on that tile to launch Translator. Notice along the very top, um, I have a menu. I have the Translate tab, the History tab, Conversations tab, and Phrasebook tab. Uh, I'm going to focus on the Translate tab and all the different ways that you can translate a document or phrases, questions, or even uh, simple words. So let's get started by setting up our language. So I want to translate from English. And uh, before I select a language, I just want to point out that you do have all of these languages available to choose from. So you have quite a wide variety of languages available to you in the Microsoft Translator app. Let's go ahead and choose French. Once I've selected the language, I can go ahead and in the left box, I can start typing a word, a phrase, or a question. Let's start with a statement. Notice that as I type the English version of that statement, it's automatically translated into French. Now, I can choose to listen to the French translation. Bienvenue dans notre classe. I could highlight a word and select dictionary, and it will show me the translation as well as give me examples. I can choose to copy the phrase and then paste it in another Word document or maybe an email that I'm working on to a parent or to a student in my class. Uh, as well, I can click the three dots and I could always save the statement or share it. I can clear this box by simply clicking the X here in the top right corner of the left box and I can type something else. And again, as I'm typing, Microsoft Translator app is translating. Now, if I wanted this particular translation to remain on the screen, I could simply select to pin the translation. And then I could come back over to the left text box. And instead of pressing the X to clear the text, I could simply continue um, adding to uh, this message. And again, once I have finished typing out my message that I wanted to translate, I could always copy the translation or select the three dots, save the translation or share to export the translation to um, an email, uh, say that this was a translation for a parent or possibly even a student in my class. Um, you can also notice if you click share, you can also uh, export this translation to a OneNote notebook. All right, I'm going to clear this box. I wanna show you one more feature uh, in the translate text. Notice the open tab here. I can actually open a Word document or a text file. Let's click open. And let's find a Word document, here we go, that I can open. 
Now, the only thing you'll notice is that it doesn't open it in Microsoft Word. Instead, it opens the Word document inside this text box. However, if I look over to the far right, I can see that this text from the Word document is all here and it's all been translated or into French. And again, I can copy this translation or I can save or share it.